We'll be at Valtus too in just over four hours. I can't wait to visit the Firefalls at the Valtusian Joy Reserve. They're supposed to be amazing. Don't bother. That recreation park is a death trap. The biology department just did a study to determine whether the underground veins of Belutrium ore that exist on the planet cause some kind of poor health effects in the region near the Empire's base on Valtrus II, which is adjacent to the park grounds. So, what did they find? Plenty. The researchers surveyed people living within 300 meters of the recreation area over the last 10 years, looking for statistically significant increases in rates of over 800 ailments. Analyzing all that data, they noticed that the incidence of fatal Zonra fever was four times higher among those who lived closest to that park. Well, surely it should be called off if the area is so dangerous. At least. I, of course, overheard your remarks. Uh, y yeah, yes sir. Sir. The argument you are employing, Chief Sulu, is not logical. In fact, it exhibits the Texas sharpshooter fallacy, an example of apophenia or seeing connections where there are none. I thought we were making very good sense. That may be so, Navigator, but the form of the argument is invalid. The Texas sharpshooter fallacy is an informal fallacy which is committed when differences in data are ignored, but similarities are overemphasized. From this reasoning, a false conclusion is inferred. This fallacy is an application of apophenia, the attempt to see or insert meaning into randomness. The name Texas Sharpshooter fallacy comes from the idea that someone could randomly shoot a projectile firing pistol at a barn, then draw a bullseye around the largest cluster and then claiming from the evidence that they were a sharpshooter. The fallacy is characterized by a lack of specific hypothesis prior to the gathering of data, or the formulation of a hypothesis only after data has already been gathered and examined. Chief Sulu, you committed this fallacy when you opined that the recreation area near our base on Valtrus II caused health issues based on the data gathered by the biology section. The problem with the conclusion, however, was that the number of potential ailments, over 800, was so large that it created a high probability that at least one ailment would exhibit the appearance of a statistically significant difference by chance alone, a situation known as the multiple comparisons problem. Thank you, Commander Spock. Yes, I will use better judgment in the future. That would be advisable. Incidentally, subsequent analysis by the Empire's science director have failed to show any association between veins of belitrium ore and Zonra fever, and so shore leave will not be cancelled, except for the ship's biology department, whose members will be busy receiving punishment in the agony booth for their faulty analysis in this regard. Even if an argument seems to make sense, it cannot be valid unless the form is valid, and that it does not exhibit one of the logical fallacies such as the Texas Sharpshooter Fallacy, or retroactively forming a hypothesis after collecting data. It's only logical. Return to your duties. <laughs>